Hi, I am Vincent Wilmot. I have a website, uscienceTheory.com, and I have studied lots of early physics, from William Gilbert and Galileo to Kepler, Robert Hooke, Isaac Newton, and others, uh, some of which is explained on my website. For now, uh, I want to introduce you to how I got into William Gilbert and his physics and have learned to consider William Gilbert the king of physics and I will explain why. My first study of Gilbert was around the age of 17. Uh, at that time and for some years after I used libraries a lot including Leicester Central Library uh, some use of the British Museum Library and also a nice library in London at St Pancras and that library had a very impressive big copy of William Gilbert hardback a very big red book about 18 inches by 12 inches by 6 inches deep and a big impressive book which I studied very carefully uh, and repeatedly making relevant notes and improving notes and I studied the other that was an English translation of Gilbert I did study both translations that were available and the Latin original and here I can show you my copy whoops my copy of William Gilbert De Mundo, uh, which is still in the Latin. It's in the Latin because it's never been translated into out of Latin. Well, hopefully it will be uh, by, I believe, Stephen Pumphrey and Dr. Ian Stewart. Uh, they're supposed to be working on a translation uh, of De Mundo by Gilbert, uh, which I will be looking forward to. Uh, uh, one thing, however, when I when I studied Gilbert's two Latin two English translations of his Latin De Magnet, I was rather concerned that they were, uh, where I thought, fairly poor translations. I did not think they translated the science at all clearly, uh, and really their main aim, as stated by those translators, was indeed to keep them looking. 1500s English and uh, to keep that English style in their translation and really they, they were more concerned with the general style than with the actual science. I, I really felt they didn't totally understand the science anyway uh, and we could really do it a better translation. Uh, uh, later on, about uh, I did, as I say, set up a website, NewScienceTheory.com, which discussed a lot of uh, early physics uh, and so on, including William Gilbert. Uh, I set it up about 2003, but a little later, I think about 2009, I was contacted by Dr. Stephen Pumphrey. Uh, about his actually making a translation of William Gilbert's De Mundo for the first time from the Latin uh, with with Dr. Ian Stewart. He, he did seek my advice about translating a couple of terms including Gilbert's term effluvium uh, from the Latin. I did, I did give some advice on it uh, that may not have been terribly helpful since that translation has still not been published. Uh, it was planned for 2005, has uh, still not been done, published yet in 2018, so it's running perhaps a little late, but hopefully we'll still get there. Uh, but their, their inquiry to me did not get me thinking about the fact now, I would have liked a much better tr English translation 
of William Gilbert's D Magnet. And basically, their getting on to me did inspire me to thinking that, yes, I should get on and do a better translation of D Magnet. And I indeed did do just that. Uh, I published in 2015 an improved translation of D Magnet, uh, which is basically this. This is my translation of Gilbert's D Magnet, which I do think should be read by everybody with any interest in physics. Not just in early physics, but in fact in today's physics. Because it is a very, very interesting physics theory that William Gilbert developed. Uh, many, it's, it's not really taught at all in schools or colleges these days. Uh, and any attempt to teach it is usually way off track. It's, it does not give the science at all. Generally, people say that, oh, William Gilbert, he just developed uh, action at a distance physics, which was ridiculous physics. Uh, but that's absolutely what, well, yes, it was an action at distance type physics, but it was a signal physics, a signal response. One body emitting a signal to be received by another body, and that body then itself responding to the signal by moving towards the other body or, or away from it or whatever. Other motions maybe. But it was basically a signal response physics. Uh, and my translation of Gilbert's Steve Magnet try, tries to make that much clearer and does I think successfully and quite easily. My English translation is not that much different to the two earlier English translations. It's just a few on, on Gilbert's use of the term effluvium. That is a, the, one of the main differences. Mine makes much clearer what he was meaning when he used it. He used it in two different ways. One in a general sense, as he has just any old emissions. Effluvium meaning emission or effluvia, emissions. But he did use it in a general sense, but he also used it in a very specific sense when he's referring to his own physics. His own physics, he definitely means signal emission. And I do indicate that in my translation. I still leave the term effluvium because the two earlier translations did not translate that term at all from the Latin. They just left it as Latin. And I have also left it as, as Latin, but in brackets following, indicating whether he was meaning by it emission or whether he was meaning by it signal emission, uh, as he definitely was for his own theory. That is an emission to which other things responded. Uh, but anyway, I do think I do hope that you that I may have prompted you to actually looking at William Gilbert more closely. It's really a physics that applies to radio and TV emissions and remote control. The remote that you use for your TV is really William Gilbert physics. It is action at distance, signal response physics. And I think the future of physics is probably in signal response theory, which is really William Gilbert physics theory. I, I'm hoping that it might actually make a comeback, but uh, that's for another day. For now, uh, I'll finish and tell you, do study William Gilbert, and especially my translation, my improved translation of William Gilbert's D magnet. All the best. See you another time. Bye.